I wanted to make a video comparing the new AI video models, but the task felt overdone and repetitive. With so many comparison videos already flooding YouTube, I found it hard to stay motivated and ended up procrastinating, unsure of what new perspective I could bring to the table. And then I saw this. Did you see it? What we have here is a 10 second clip with a hard cut to a reverse angle, where she is consistently the same character, we have the same location, the same atmosphere. This will allow creators to have at their disposal the cinematic language tools to tell captivating visual stories in their own terms. Here's Johnny! Before this video we didn't have the tools to create cinematic storytelling as we know it in the present. We have the option to type text and create video, use an image as a reference to create a video, use a video as a reference to create another video. So when I saw this clip, I started to get excited. This video created with seaweed of ByteDance proves in my opinion how AI is starting to understand cinematic language, the rules of visual storytelling. In this video, I want to show you what is coming next year in terms of AI video. I want to introduce to you the concept of the second renaissance that I love. And at the end of the video, I'll do a very quick, useful recap of tools that you can use nowadays so you can start somewhere. But before that, let's go to this seemingly inoffensive cut, because I think it's very important. The Game Changer. In 1900s, the attack on a China mission station introduced a groundbreaking technique that would forever change cinema. The hard cut to a reverse angle, establishing spatial continuity in the scene. This innovation laid the foundation for modern film editing, and 15 years later, David W. Griffith expanded on it with The Birth of a Nation, the first film to fully use the cinematic language we still rely on today. Before this, action was shown from a single angle or perspective. If you aim to replicate such innovation with AI today, you'll likely encounter challenges in maintaining consistency across characters, locations, atmospheres, and camera angles. This stuff is new. Until now, you didn't have the ability to create multi-shot transitions, while maintaining the consistency of the subject, style, atmosphere, and all of this within a single prompt. If it can do this, then I suppose that it would achieve multi-coverage for the same prompt. The amount and kind of footage shot used to capture a scene in filmmaking and video production. Obtaining different shots of the action from different perspectives so we can choose how to piece it together. Now I'm getting excited. Seaweed is also remarkably good at rack focusing take, camera movements respecting the space, physics, etc. Part 1. 2025. What can we expect? higher quality and realism. In only, let's say, a year, approx, we have seen this evolve to this. The advancements in quality had been crazy, but we still lack some kind of control over the results. Control and customization. As we have seen in the Meta Movie Gen video, AI will likely offer more advanced customization features, allowing users to generate and manipulate highly detailed virtual characters, settings, and props. The feature will give creators an insane level of control over performances, as we can see in this example of the AI crew animation model with Animate. Watch this video if you want to see how amazing the model Minimax is with human emotions performances. Making our job easier. Rapid prototyping. The ideation phase. Creators might start with broader, more abstract concepts, relying on AI to flesh out details. Directors and screenwriters will quickly visualize their ideas, testing different narrative approaches before committing to full production. Storyboarding could become more dynamic, with AI-generated video sequences replacing static images. For virtual production scouting, filmmakers could generate and explore potential location and set designs before physical production begins. In advertisement, if you want to do a presentation of ideas to a client, now it is easier than ever to get across an idea in a more captivating visual way. And of course, the iteration speed. Faster turnarounds and revisions and alternatives, potentially leading to more experimental approaches. I love when ideas take their time to simmer and fully develop, and I think it's very important for the process. We still need to give ideas the space to rest and settle, then revisit them after long sessions of iterations to see how they truly feel. The best way to reach your destination is often the slowest. I love this phrase. Role shifts. Some traditional roles, like storyboard artists, might evolve to focus more on prompt engineering and AI output creation. Democratization of audiovisual storytelling. Nowadays, politics, societal norms, or trends get inside the artistic businesses, so everything is more controlled by the social mindset. For example, as we saw with the release of some video games, 
the woke culture has got into the gaming industry too. AI will lower barriers to entry for aspiring filmmakers who lack access to traditional resources. Indie creators will produce higher quality content with limited budgets. The ability to create new products with fewer people, companies, or traditional societal expectations involved in the process will empower creators to work on their own terms, free from the constraints of norms and conventions. This brings me to the accessibility. More accessible tools. AI video generation tools will likely become more user-friendly and accessible, allowing non-technical creators to produce professional-grade content. Platforms with drag and drop functionality, similar to how Canva simplified design, will emerge, democratizing the use of AI for video production. Nowadays, I'm really having fun working on my t-shirt brand advertisement, and I'm doing stuff that I would never have been able to do because of money, lack of tools, etc. Nowadays, we can have automatic access to crazy features like the brilliant idea that Pika Labs had, offering their users a kind of drag and drop functionality for crazy video effects. Adobe Firefly is allowing you to choose camera options, easily generate dynamic AI titles, the new Premiere tools coming up. For tonight, a harmonize button. When we click it, our harmonization model in the back end will help us to automatically adjust the lighting and color. But I suddenly realized that the warrior is looking at the wrong direction. The warrior should be looking at the dragon, right? Now, normally, I have to redraw the entire shape, which is going to take a lot of time. But here, let me show you our new tool. I will just need to select the shape and click this Generate Views button. And then I can just rotate the shape by simply dragging this slider. If it was this simple. Mm. But no worries. Project Remix a lot to our rescue. I have this layout variation feature right here and it can remix my design in different standard sizes. Look wow. at that. Nowadays, you can do rotoscoping automatically, where you have control over the lighting and composition, motion capture, masks, trackers, etc. Although, the thing that I really want to see happening next year, and I think it will come soon, something similar to what was shown in OpenAI's showcase, of the vision capabilities of their models, real-time AI video editing. Imagine a future where AI doesn't just assist you, but learns your creative process from the ground up, becoming an essential partner in your artistic journey. Picture this, as you edit your videos or create any form of art, the AI watches and learns your workflow, your style, your unique choices, the tools you use, etc. Over time, it starts recognizing patterns, your signature color grades, or the way you balance audio. Then, the AI can autonomously take over repetitive tasks, like organizing files, syncing audio, or making rough cuts, all while adapting to your personal style. What's even more exciting is that this AI can anticipate your next moves and handle complex tasks without compromising your creative vision. You'll be able to give feedback, and the AI will continuously improve, refining itself to match your evolving style. It will enable you to focus on the most creative parts of your work while leaving the heavy lifting to your AI collaborator. Part 2. A new era and new forms of art. Imagine a world where knowledge and ideas spread at lightning speed, where innovation disrupts centuries-old practices, and where human potential is amplified by groundbreaking technologies. This was the reality of the Renaissance, sparked by the invention of the printing press. Now imagine that on steroids. The second Renaissance. We are on the cusp of a second Renaissance, fueled by the advancements of artificial intelligence. Just as the printing press revolutionized the dissemination of information in the 15th century, AI will democratize knowledge and understanding in the 21st century and beyond. The parallels between the first renaissance and the present day are striking. AI is acting as a modern-day printing press, making information and sophisticated tools readily available to anyone with an internet connection. This unprecedented access to knowledge empowers individuals to learn, create, and innovate in ways never before imaginable. Just as Renaissance thinkers rediscovered and reinterpreted classical knowledge, we are now witnessing AI's ability to analyze and synthesize vast amounts of data, uncovering hidden patterns and insights that can revolutionize our understanding of the world. AI is also fostering a new era of humanism, augmenting our capabilities and empowering us to tackle complex challenges in healthcare, climate change, and other critical areas. The future may look dark, but there's always going to be hope and new opportunities in change. We're going to have to work hard to find them, but I am sure they're going to be there. 
new forms of art and opportunities. When one of these songs will make us cry, sobbing uncontrollably, are we going to dry out our tears and dismissively say, this is BS, it is not made by a human. People don't care how a movie has been done, they care about the story. I do because I'm a nerd. David Fincher uses so many CGI in his movies that you would never believe. Nobody notices or cares about it, because the delivery of the story is so well crafted. The only thing I care about in a movie is if no animal has been hurt. I am very curious and I love to know how it has been done. But I don't care how much technology has been involved in the process if I enjoy and connect to the story. Experimental short films. Artists are pushing the boundaries of what's possible with AI video generation, creating surreal and abstract short films that explore the aesthetic possibilities of the technology. Films entirely generated from carefully crafted text prompts, with human curation. AI and human collaborative filmmaking, where artists provide prompts and curate AI-generated sequences. I think that for people that know how to think visually and have some knowledge of visual storytelling, these tools are going to be an amazing upgrade to their creativity. I have scripts that I would love to present to an AI assistant or agent, and I would love for this bot to give me back different options for all the parts of the production process, iterating in real time so an idea or story starts to grow. I'm not going to extensively go through all the existing models to use because there's lots of them, lots of videos out there that do a very good job showing you the stuff that you can do. But to have a quick idea, you have these models. Runway, an amazing option, but the most expensive. I would say VFX and post-production focused. It is very good at text to video and very cool to work with titles, physics and fluid simulations. Kling is less expensive than Runway, very good in animation, 3D models, very, very good with human movements and physics. Luma Labs, good for realistic videos from an image source. For animation, not that good. And one good thing is that there is less waiting time. Pika, a very cool user interface and click and drop option effects, as you have seen in the video. Minimax, this one is free and it is amazing with human emotions. If you would like me to do a video about some of them, tell me in the comments. But what are artists going to do with all this AI craziness? Watch the following video if you want to hear my take on it. Thank you so much for watching this video and as always, stay kind.